Welcome everyone to German Tour Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at the VHA Ultra Driver. The Ultra Driver is a fairly new product from VHA that is marketed as a 26-in-1 tool whereby it contains 13 double-ended bits of which 12 can be stored in the handle. In some locales this design may be called the Lift Up 26. I really do like the presentation of the piece in this nice cardboard box and the flyer that goes inside which includes part numbers for all of the Ultra Driver sets and bits. As indicated on the flyer there are three 26-in-1 sets that can be purchased in this style. The Tradesman with part number 77790, which is the one I purchased here, includes a little bit of everything, including a slotted, Phillips, Posi Drive Square, Torx, and Hex bits. The Technician model has part number 77791 and includes a larger selection of slotted bits and replaces the Hex bits with an extended Torx bit selection. The last model is the industrial version with part number 77792 and is heavy on the hex and torx bits with only a single bit each for slotted and phillips. Now let's take a look at the special ultra driver bits that this driver uses. These bits are not a standard size and are only intended to be used in the ultra driver bit holder. The issue is that the length of the bit is not standard and the locking notches are quite a distance from the end which wouldn't allow it to lock into a standard quarter inch bit holder. Each of the bits is marked VHA with the sizes on each end. I was kind of scratching my head as to why they paired a Phillips number 0 and number 3. I suppose the thinking was that the most common Phillips sizes are number 1 and number 2, and therefore it should be on the same bit. One cool thing about this particular set is that it includes both metric and inch sizes for the most common hex drives. I actually wasn't expecting this, but it's certainly a nice feature to have. Now looking at the Ultra Driver bit holder, we have a spring-loaded piece of machined aluminum near the tip that slides back to release the bit. I did notice that it felt a little scratchy so I added a couple drops of oil to help it a bit. When inserting the bits there is no need to pull back on the release latch as they will lock in place automatically. The holder for the bits is spring loaded and contains a self opening 6 position carousel on two levels to provide a total of 12 bit holders. If we take a close look at these holders the solution that they came up with is both simple and elegant in its design and implementation. A standard rubber o-ring is used to hold the bits at a particular angle offset from the center of the shaft. The o-ring applies just enough pressure so that you can easily open and close the compartment with very little restriction. Each of the compartments is hex shaped to accept the special ultra driver bits. The bottom of each compartment is cut out so you can see what is on the other end of the bit. I did notice that each of these holders is only attached with a plastic hinge that is part of the same mold for each of the six holders. At some point these would wear out from continuous opening and closing of the compartment, but I think only VHA really knows how many cycles it would take to do that. I'm guessing it's probably in the tens of thousands, so I really don't see any issue unless you're using this set every day for decades. The pop-out carousels are spring-loaded with dual latches at the end of the handle. I noticed the first couple of times opening and closing it, it seemed a bit sluggish. This could just be that it needs to be broken in a bit, but what I did is add a little bit of oil to help it, and now it opens quite smooth and quick. I didn't see any desiccant packs in the box, so this could be from moisture building up on the springs, but I didn't see any evidence of rust or corrosion. Adding a small desiccant pack might be something that VHA needs to do in the future if they start getting reports of corroded parts out of the box. I really do like how you can freely spin the holder so you don't have to rotate the entire handle to get to the bit that you're hunting for, which is a nice feature. Another thing to note about the selection is that 13 bits are included, but only 12 slots are in the handle holder. Therefore, one bit must be always locked in the driver bit holder in order to utilize all 13 bits included. I would prefer not to leave a bit in the holder, so what I decided to do was to store one of the square drive bits separately, as that is one that I hardly ever use. A multi-bit screwdriver like this is one that I would tend to put in a pants pocket, which of course could cause some issues if you left a bit in the holder, depending on which bit is installed. As I mentioned before, the bits on the Ultra Driver will not fit the standard quarter inch bit holders out there due to its double ended design. Standard quarter inch bits can be used, but the locking mechanism appears to be only in one direction, so there is some play with the bit in the driver as it relies on the length of the double ended bit to provide a stop going in the other direction. You can sort of use longer quarter inch driver bits, but it will not necessarily lock in place like it will with the Ultra Driver bits. After using the Ultra Driver for a bit, it does take a little bit getting used to the shape of the handle as it is quite different from VHA's standard handles. The bit release collar also spins freely so that it can be used to stabilize the driver while in use. Overall, it's definitely one of the better multi-bit drivers that I've used. It is nice that you don't have to separately carry around the bits, which is often the case with most of these types of sets. I think I'm personally going to use this driver as what I call a top drawer screwdriver, something that you can grab quickly when you need to take something apart and you don't feel like going to get your normal screwdrivers. I also think this will make a great gift for somebody. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that look at the VHA 26-in-1 Ultra Driver. Check out the link in the description to the full review. There are also some affiliate links in the description if you feel the urge to pick this set up. Have a good week, and I'll catch you guys next time.